I'm inviting you to join me on my quest to discover the most exciting cryptocurrencies. Blockchain has the potential to revolutionize major worldwide industries. And the cool thing is, it's just getting started. So where to begin? With so many projects out there, it can seem overwhelming. But that's why I've created this web series. To research and summarize what the coin is and what potential it has to conclude the inherent value of the coin. Welcome back to Crypto Coin Quest. In this episode, I'll be talking about Polkadot. Dot. So it says here that Polkadot is an open source sharding multi-chain protocol that facilitates cross-chain transfers of any data or asset types. It's basically a smart contract platform that already has built-in sharding, which is what ETH 2.0 is trying to do. So the four core components are the relay chain, which is the Polkadot heart, helping to create consensus, interoperability, and shared security across a network of different chains. So the blockchain of Polkadot is not just a single chain, but it's multiple chains, and they all coalesce through the relay chain. So the parachains are those independent chains that are created. They can have their own tokens and be optimized for, for specific use cases. The parathread, similar to the parachains, but with flexible connectivity based on an economical pay-as-you-go model. Bridges then allow the parachains and parathreads to connect and communicate with external blockchains like Ethereum. So if we look at their social media, they're pretty active and they talk about governance quite a bit. They talk about the community. It's really a very community driven governance project. They have a Polka scan, very similar to Etherscan. It's a public ledger where you can search all of the blockchain information and transactions that occur. Exciting news, Polkadot's network prepares to welcome Tether USDT. So Tether revealed that its stablecoin USDT will soon run on top of the Polkadot blockchain. Also, Engine, the NFT making blockchain company, recently announced the launch of the next generation NFT blockchain on the Polkadot network called Efinity. Tons of adoption here happening with Polkadot. Parsic. Parsic is another blockchain company that um, has this thing called smart triggers, which is basically like notifications. Um, so it monitors network activity and then it'll flag something with a smart trigger and give a notification as a result. So that's integrating now with Polkadot's relay chain. So now smart triggers are now compatible for most users. Parsic is now integrated with other major blockchains, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. And now Polkadot. Also, Chainlink brings its price oracles to Polkadot. So now we talked about Chainlink in the previous episode, but basically this is an oracle platform that allows the blockchain to communicate outside of the blockchain. So now they bring its price oracles to Polkadot, which is good news. So we look at the circulating supply. It's almost fully diluted at this point with 397 million dots circulating currently. The market cap is $36.6 billion at a price of $39.11. So it's currently ranked number 9 on the coin market cap. So what are the pros of Polkadot? Cross-chain functionality built into the network. It's fully scalable with the parachain function, and it has community-driven governance for any DOT holder. What are the cons? Polkadot had something called the Polkadex. And the Polkadex is basically a decentralized exchange, but it had an underwhelming launch. Uh, by no means is it over, but it has yet to catch on as a decentralized exchange. Also, ETH is already kind of established itself as the king of smart contract platforms. While Polkadot has better technology, but it's still considered to be an alternative. Now, I hear this a lot. Is there enough room in the blockchain space for all these smart contract networks? And the answer is absolutely. I mean, not only does each of the project have their own focus, but people have to remember blockchain is global, okay? Industries across the entire world will be adopting blockchain as the superior method of information management. So no single network could run all the applications around the world. And we wouldn't want it that way because it would defeat the purpose of decentralization. Okay, so in summary, Polkadot is a decentralized platform that runs smart contracts just like Ethereum. However, the key difference is that it was built with all the limitations of Ethereum in mind, like scalability, interchain operability, multi-layer consensus verification, and community-driven governance. And therefore, by solving those problems from the get-go, Polkadot provides a better network for developers as a result. It's already a top 10 coin by market cap, and it will continue to grow as their team is very active and the network is developer friendly. 
So this is not financial advice, of course, just for information only, but I do see this as an essential asset to a crypto portfolio. And I can see it easily in the top five in terms of market cap, which would put the price around $55 right now, meaning it's currently pretty undervalued. So that's it for Polkadot. Until next time, keep your portfolio strong and your hands stronger.